Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Falker County Public Schools with another edition of Three Great Things. Uh, first and foremost, very, very, very exciting news regarding this past year's graduation rates. Um, just extremely excited and extremely proud of our kids and our teachers and our administrators. Our overall graduation rate was 95.5%, which is basically uh, on par with where we've been the last few years. Um, However, it's the subgroup achievement rates that are, I think, um, most exciting. The graduation gradua graduation rates for our black students, for example, was 96.3%. For Hispanic students, it was 93.5%. For students with disabilities, it was 96.7%. And economically disadvantaged, 91.6%. Th these are remarkable statistics. Um, and they're not they're not anomalies. I would point out that for the class of 2018, uh, the students with disabilities uh, graduation rate was actually the second highest in the state. Uh, I don't know where this particular I haven't compared from division to division, but I suspect we'll be right in that range again uh, with students with disabilities right on time graduation rate. And these are just remarkable statistics. And don't let anyone fool you that it has anything to do with with COVID and the March shutdown, uh, we still, you know, those still those kids still had to all get across the finish line, and um, just extremely proud. And uh, and hopefully we'll have some news coming out soon via a press release about the press uh, the uh, graduation rates and uh, and so forth. So congratulations. Um, next, I wanted to do a provide a shout out to. Um, all those 25 different Fakir businesses that have donated food, uh, time, resources to our schools to show their appreciation, and these are mostly these are mostly restaurants. Um, I'll, I'll name a few: the Whole Ox, Joe's Pizza, one of my favorite places to go, by the way. Uh, Nick's Market and Deli, also a favorite place. Uh, Field and Main, also a favorite place. Uh, Johnny Monarchs, Old Salem Cafe, El Agave, Anthony's Pizza, Foster's Grill, West Main Street Coffee Shop, Taj Pile of Sunny Hills American Cafe, The Open Book, The Great Harvest Bread Company, Latitude's Fair Trade Store, uh, Gateau Bakery, Cafe and Tea Room, Sherry's Stuff, Third and Main, Frame Craft, Denim and Pearls, Molly's Irish Pub, Black Bear Bistro, Bad uh, Blanky Blank Pickles, Von Cannon General Store, and The Town Duck. Thank you. I was able to twice enjoy lunch from the whole ox, once at Thompson Elementary and once at Marshall Middle. And just very, very kind and delightful people. So thank you for supporting our teachers. Our teachers are stressed out. Our teachers are working extremely hard to prepare for the, the November 9th hybrid opening. So kudos to them and thanks to those businesses. And thanks specifically to Robin Verity, who, um, I wish I had a tenth of Robin Verity's energy, uh, but she's she's one of our teachers, and um, just wanted to thank her for uh, putting this together. Um, last but not least, I, I did this is just maybe a little thing, but it was something as a former coach that um, made me feel really good. I, I came across a story about some seven on seven competitions between a football competition between um, Kettle Run and um, uh, Fokker High School and back when I coached those were called the passing league which is just no no pads no helmets um, uh, although they may have been wearing helmets I'm not sure but anyway it was just sort of a informal way to compete against other schools in a more of a practice like setting um, and it was just exciting to see that and and uh, I'm like everyone else. I love Friday Night Football, and I've missed it. And it was good to see that story about those kids out on the field, even at, at sort of a low level comp comp competing against each other. And I would not be a true Los Angeles Dodger fan if I did not mention that Dodgers uh, are the World Series champions. And 32 years is a long time. That was the last time they won the World Series, and I remember it very well. Um, we're back with my during my first year of teaching, believe it or not, and um, it's been a long time coming. So, congratulations, Dodgers! Hope everyone has a great week.